A recent cyber attack on the German defense company Deal Defense, reportedly carried out by North Korean hackers, has raised serious concerns about the security of sensitive defense technologies. The attack, believed to be part of North Korea's broader strategy of cyber espionage, was first reported by Spiegel and is thought to be aimed at stealing confidential information related to defense projects and weapon systems. The timing of the attack has drawn attention due to its potential connection with a significant defense deal between Deal Defense and South Korea. According to the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution and Counterterrorism, the cyber attack may have been triggered by the signing of a contract between Deal and the South Korean Ministry of Defense for the purchase of Iris T air defense missiles. North Korea, a longtime adversary of South Korea, has frequently used cyber attacks to gain strategic advantages, especially in the field of defense. North Korea has long relied on cyber espionage as a means of acquiring military technology and gaining technological advantages. With strict international sanctions limiting its ability to access the latest defense developments through traditional means, the regime has increasingly turned to hacking and other cyber activities to close the technological gap. This attack on Deal Defense, which specializes in advanced missile systems and defense technologies, fits this pattern. The suspected culprits behind the cyber attack are believed to be Kim Siki, a North Korean hacker group known for conducting espionage activities. The group reportedly attempted to deceive Deal Defense employees by offering fake job opportunities with American defense contractors. The goal of this phishing campaign was to trick employees into downloading malware that would allow the hackers to access the company's systems and steal sensitive information. According to Mandiant, a subsidiary of Google specializing in cybersecurity, the primary objective of the attack was to infiltrate Deal Defense's computer systems and exfiltrate key documents. The use of phishing tactics and virus-laden software is a common strategy employed by Kim Siki in past cyber espionage operations. However, it remains unclear how successful the hackers were in accessing confidential information or whether the attack is ongoing. The implications of this cyber attack could extend beyond deal defense itself. The German company has been working closely with Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, since 2017, collaborating on integrating European aviation weaponry, including Iris T missiles, onto South Korean aircraft such as the KF-21 fighter jet. This program is of particular importance as the KF-21 is being developed for export, and the integration of advanced weaponry like the Iris-T and the Meteor missile from MBDA could make it a highly competitive offering on the global market. Deal Defense's work on integrating the Meteor air-to-air -air missile, which is set to become the main radar-guided missile for the KF-21, has also attracted interest from cybersecurity experts concerned about the potential theft of critical weapon system data. This latest attack underscores North Korea's increasing reliance on cyber warfare to gain access to cutting-edge military technologies and maintain competitiveness on the global stage. As tensions in the region remain high, particularly between North and South Korea, the cybersecurity of defense companies working on advanced systems like the KF-21 will continue to be a major point of concern. For now, it remains uncertain how much information was compromised during the attack on Deal Defense but the event highlights the growing threat posed by cyber espionage in the defense industry. As DEAL continues its collaboration with South Korea on the KF-21 and other projects, safeguarding sensitive information will be critical to both nations' security and strategic interests.